Hello, and welcome back to AJM Learn. Uh, today, I'm going to walk you through three of my favorite um, image block hover effects. Um, all pretty easy, just using CSS. Love to add a little bit of fun animation without it being just crazy and in your face. So these are super easy and fun. All right, so I'll jump in. I'll just grab them from the post. You have all of this information in the post itself. So the first one is going to be changing the... Um, it's in the whole thing. Oops. Changing the photo to black and white on hover. So um, I don't think you can see my toolbar in this view, but I do have the find Squarespace ID Google extension, which I always strongly encourage you to get. And that helps you find that block ID. You click it and you want to paste it just over block ID. Make sure to keep that colon and hover. And now when you hover over the photo, it turns to black and white. Um, the other option I have in here is you can also make the photo black and white naturally and then change it to color on hover. So again, changing the block ID in both places. And you can see that now stagnantly the photo is black and white and when I hover it switches to color. So these are really simple. You're just replacing the block ID. No other work required. Um, same with this one. So next one, I use this on, honestly, like a lot of my sites, um, is doing a slight zoom on hover. So again, just pasting this in, grab that block ID, put it before the colon and hover. And then you'll notice now when I hover over the photo, it does a nice like slight zoom in. Pretty cool. You can change the scale here if you wanted to make it a little more dramatic, the speed, but I tend to just kind of leave it alone. And last, slightly more complex, but still super easy, is actually changing a photo on Hover. Um, this is something you would use, of course, on like every site. There's certain use cases for this, um, but it can be really cool. I found some cool use cases in the past. Um, so, for this one, the, basically what's happening is this first set is hiding the existing photo on hover. So again, grabbing that block ID and you'll see as soon as I do this, the photo disappears on hover because it's just telling it, hey, hide this photo on hover. This next piece is telling it, hey, show this other photo on hover. So I'm going to put this block ID in here again, but still we don't, there's no photo. We have to tell it what photo to find. So where it says image file here, this is really important. You do it like kind of in this order. Uh, two things actually. Down here under manage custom files, go ahead and upload that image that you want to use. I'll just use one that's already in here, but upload the one you want to replace it with. After that, you're going to come in here, delete this, and make sure your cursor is between those, uh, I want to call them, <laughs> keep wanting to call them brackets, but yeah, in between right there. Go to Manage Custom Files, click on it, and it should pop up right in between. And you can see now when you hover, it flips to that other image. Take this off. Bam. Cool. Those are all pretty easy. Um, hope you enjoy. Just adds a lot of cool interest to the site. Um, check out our other posts. We're teaching you how to do tons of fun, you know, but very achievable things on your Squarespace websites.